Alp Arslan, born in the early 11th century, emerged as a pivotal figure in the history of the Seljuk Turks. His ascension to power marked a period of territorial expansion and strategic brilliance. As the son of Chagri Beg, ruler of Khorasan in Iran, and the nephew of Togril, the governor of western Iran, Alp Arslan inherited a legacy of Seljuk dominance. In 1061, Alp Arslan's father passed away, and two years later, his uncle Togril died without an heir, leaving him the sole inheritor of the vast Seljuk territories. Swiftly asserting his authority, he brought his brother, who held Kerman in southern Iran, under vassalage. Alp Arslan eliminated rivals and competitors, securing his position as the second sultan of the Seljuk Turks. Leaving the administration of the traditional Muslim territories to his capable vizier, Nizam al-Mulk, Alp Arslan focused on expanding Seljuk influence beyond their established borders. His political strategy, influenced by the principles shared by the great Seljuk sovereigns, aimed at maintaining peace in Central Asia while using force against challenging adversaries. In the West, Alp Arslan faced a complex situation. His desire to crush the Ismaili Fatimid heresy in Egypt brought him into conflict with the Abbasid Sunni Caliphate at Baghdad, whose protector he was. Simultaneously, he recognized the importance of securing the loyalty of the Oghuz Turkic tribes for military strength. These tribes, interested in holy wars and raids on Christian territories, played a crucial role in Alp Arslan's military campaigns. Against the Byzantines and their Christian neighbors, Alp Arslan conducted a series of campaigns, culminating in the seizure of Ani and Kars in 1064. While these campaigns only resulted in a consolidation of boundaries, they disrupted the Byzantine defense system, setting the stage for the subsequent Turkish conquest of Asia Minor. The defining moment in Alp Arslan's reign came with the Battle of Manzikert in 1071. As he prepared for a major anti-Fatimid expedition, the request of the Abbasid Caliphate, news arrived that the Byzantine Emperor Romanus IV Diogenes was attacking his rear army in Armenia which he had been sent to defend the Western Front during his campaign against the Fatimids, Romanus Diogenes considered it to seize the opportunity as Alp Arsalan was on a campaign at the Eastern Fronts. Motivated by repeated Seljuk incursions and raids into the Byzantine-held Anatolia, Emperor Romanus IV. Diogenes undertook a significant military mobilization to restore the security of the Byzantine Empire's eastern frontier. This strategic move aimed at pushing back the Seljuk Turks and safeguarding the territorial integrity of the Byzantine Empire. In the spring of 1071, Romanus led a formidable army into the heart of Turkish-held Armenia, traversing the southern branch of the upper Euphrates River. The emperor's campaign unfolded with the objective of curbing Seljuk advances and reclaiming key territories. Among the diverse forces at his disposal were mercenaries, including a contingent of Turkmen warriors, reflecting the diverse composition of his army. As the Byzantine forces penetrated deeper into Turkish-held Armenia, Romanus faced the critical decision of dividing his army near the town of Manzikert, present-day Malazgirt, Turkey. This strategic maneuver aimed at simultaneously securing key positions and maintaining flexibility in the face of potential Seljuk resistance. A portion of his forces was dispatched ahead to secure the strategically significant fortress of Aklat on the shores of nearby Lake Vaughan, while the remainder accompanied Romanus into the town of Manzikert itself. Meanwhile, Alp Arslan, the Seljuk ruler, swiftly responded to intelligence about the Byzantine incursion into his territory. Recognizing the strategic importance of Manzikert, he expedited his forces to confront the advancing Byzantine army. The stage was set for the pivotal Battle of Manzikert, a confrontation that would shape the course of history and mark a turning point in Byzantine-Seljuk relations. The strategic decisions made by both Romanus and Alp Arslan in the lead-up to the Battle of Manzikert underscored the high stakes involved in this clash of civilizations. The division of the Byzantine army, the strategic positioning of forces, and the rapid mobilization of the Seljuk Turks all contributed to the unfolding drama on the plains near Manzikert. The outcome of this historic battle would not only determine the fate of the Byzantine Empire, but also have far-reaching consequences for the broader geopolitical landscape of the region. In a desperate bid to reunite his forces besieging Aklat, 
Romanus Fort Diogenes made the fateful decision to abandon the strategic town of Manzikert. His plan was to consolidate his troops with the group laying siege to Aklat, a fortress vital for controlling the region. However, this maneuver proved to be a critical misstep in the unfolding drama of the Battle of Manzikert. As Romanus and his forces traversed the rugged terrain, they found themselves ensnared in a valley along the Aklat Road. The Emperor, perhaps underestimating the imminent threat, neglected to deploy scouts to assess the position of the Seljuk Turks. This lack of reconnaissance left the Byzantine forces vulnerable, and Alp Arslan's troops seized the opportunity, launching a surprise attack on Romanus and his army. Despite the dire circumstances, Romanus displayed valor on the battlefield, and there exists speculation that victory might have been attainable were it not for internal treachery. Within the Byzantine ranks, betrayal unfolded as Romanus's Turkmen troops defected to the enemy the night before the battle. Additionally, one of his trusted generals, Andronicus Ducas, perceived the impending defeat and chose to abandon the emperor, fleeing with his men. This act of treachery further weakened Romanus's position. The Battle of Manzikert concluded in a devastating defeat for the Byzantine Empire. The professional and elite troops, essential to the military strength of the empire, suffered heavy casualties. Romanus himself, valiant in the face of adversity, was captured by the Seljuk Turks. Alp Arslan, recognizing the strategic advantage of his captive, negotiated the release of Romanus under the condition that the emperor would cede significant Byzantine territories. Upon Romanus's return, however, he faced a grim fate at the hands of his political enemies. Overthrown, blinded, and ultimately killed, Romanus IV Diogenes became a tragic figure in Byzantine history. The catastrophic aftermath of the Battle of Manzikert marked a pivotal moment for the weakened Byzantine Empire, prompting an urgent call for aid from fellow Christians in Western Europe. This appeal eventually catalyzed the mounting of the First Crusade, a historic expedition that would reshape the dynamics of the Eastern Mediterranean and the broader Christian-Muslim interactions in the region.